Before we start our lesson for today, I am inviting all of you to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vibalt Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! We are all living organisms. And it means we have life! Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on! Having a life means that we begin from a tiny organism that continuously grows until we are able to move, reproduce, and eventually die. Today, we are going to talk about life cycle. In this topic, we will discover the following. What is a life cycle? What are the different stages of the life cycle? How do the life cycles of different organisms differ from each other? Look at this! After some time, it will become like this. Then, it will develop and look like this. Then, it will mature and become like this. From babies inside the egg or womb, to being born, then growing up, all living organisms experience different stages of life. And that is called the life cycle. Life cycle is a developmental stage that happens to every living organism. There are three major developmental stages in a life cycle, namely, fertilized egg or seed, juvenile, and adulthood. When a living organism completes a life cycle, the time it took is called a lifespan. Now, what are the different stages in a life cycle? Come on, and let's go through life together. The first stage is the fertilized egg. All living things have the ability to reproduce. Most organisms reproduce sexually with two parent cells, while some, like plants and bacteria, reproduce asexually with single parent cells. When an organism reproduces sexually, the combined cells from two parents becomes a fertilized egg. Most organisms come from eggs. Plants, on the other hand, come from seeds. Some animals, like birds, lay eggs. On the other hand, humans like us, together with other mammals like dogs, cats, or bears, come from eggs that are fertilized inside a mother's womb. We grow inside the womb until our mother gives birth. This is possible for female mammals because of their body part called the mammary gland. Here are some examples of living organisms in the fertilized egg stage. First, an animal inside its mother's womb is in the early fertilized stage called an embryo. It becomes a fetus once it grows bigger inside. Second, an egg of a butterfly. Third, an egg of a bird. And fourth, an egg of a frog. Second is the juvenile stage. This is the stage where the organism develops further and comes out from the fertilized egg. For birds, they hatch from eggs. For humans and other mammals, the mother gives birth to a young that looks similar to the parent. 
Then, organisms become babies, which will continue to grow and eventually learn different things in order to live. Here are some examples of living organisms in the juvenile stage. First, animals born from their mother's womb aside from humans, such as cat, dog, bear, and fish. Second, a tadpole that hatched from an egg of a frog. Third, a caterpillar that came out from an egg of a butterfly. And fourth, a chick that hatched from an egg of a bird. How about you, kids? Are you still a fertilized egg or a juvenile? That's right! You are all already in the juvenile stage. The third stage is adulthood. This is where organisms have fully developed. For us humans, they are the ones called grown-ups. But for animals, they are called adult animals. This is the stage where organisms are now ready to reproduce and continue the cycle of life. Here are some examples of living organisms in the adulthood stage. First, a grown-up person like your mother and father. Second, an adult cat. Third, an adult dog. And fourth, an adult male lion. See? It has longer hair than a juvenile male lion. Try this. Can you tell what stage in the life cycle are shown in the following pictures? First, ultrasound of a human. Second, bird egg. Third, frog tadpole. Fourth, human infant. Fifth, kitten. Sixth, adult lion. And seventh, adult fish. Did you get everything right? Great! Now, what do you think will happen to the life cycle? If living organisms stop reproducing? Hmm, you are right. The life cycle will stop and all organisms will stop existing. Do you want that to happen? Of course not. That is why we have to take care of all living organisms, especially while they are young like you so you can fully develop into healthy adults. Before we end our lesson for today, I am inviting you again to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vibal's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! I hope you learned a lot today and apply these learnings in your daily lives. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday, and together, let us discover things around us. Because science is everywhere! This has been Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vibal. Goodbye, everyone!